Okay, my friends, welcome back to this channel. Um, this is a video on how to diagnose and change a control board on a 650. There's a little story about it, around this uh, particular job. Another company was here, or I should say they were there before me and diagnosed it improperly. And I'm not going to mention the name of the company. That's not my job. But what happened was somebody came in and told the customer that they needed a new refrigerator compressor. Obviously, the refrigerator wasn't working. They came in. They put in a um, Subco 3-in-1 hard start kit for a one-third, one-quarter horsepower motor, which is too strong for this motor. It's only an eighth horsepower. So I removed it and put in a regular relay in there without a capacitor. I have never seen a sub-zero refrigerator with a start cap. They all have run caps. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check for power at the gray wire. The gray wire controls the refrigerator compressor. The purple wire is for the freezer compressor. And as you will see, there's no power there. So this company came in there and told me I needed a new compressor and quoted them $2,000 to $2,500 and they would have to wait two weeks. So I'm not getting any reading here. So, okay, so how could they condemn the compressor if there's no power there? So I go in, I take um, stuff out of the refrigerator to get access to the computer board. And as you'll see, I tried to uh, check the power at the control board, but the moment I pulled the wire off the control board, the relay kicked in and the compressor started to run. So that immediately told me that you'll see a spark here. See that spark? That means that once I pulled it off and vibrated that board, the relay kicked in. And now I'm going to turn on the fan. And you'll see, I'll check the power actually, and you'll see now that I have power up there. It's a pretty easy thing to do. I also checked the wiring from the gray wired by the compressor all the way to the board previously with the continuity meter, and I got a reading. So I thought, well, you know, um, there's not getting any power. How could the compressor possibly be running? So here, you see, I got power at the compressor now because the relay. Um, finally closed and sent power up there. So um, you remove the board. It's pretty simple, but like I said before, we I took the, um, took the board out <coughs> and I have a new board now. Went back the next day with a new board. And so this is the pretty standard procedure. Uh, by the way, make sure if you work on the board, you always disconnect the power, which I've already done because that board is hot at all times when, the, when it's plugged in. Even though it might be shut off, there's still electricity flowing through that board, so be careful. So here's the new board, and then you look at the instructions, and it tells you by the model number if there's any resistors that have to be cut out. And in this particular case, there's these four resistors, 49, 50, 51, and 52, and this one says take out 52. So all I do here is cut it and move it out of the way so it doesn't touch the uh, terminal there. And that's all you need to do. Each, each, each refrigerator, because this board is used in a lot of models, so you have to program it. Okay, so you just pull off all the harnesses. You can't make a mistake. These terminals on the board are also color-coded. If you look on the board itself, it'll tell you uh, gray, black, purple, and so on and so forth each. So that's not, it's not uh, difficult to do, and it's, it's very easily marked. So you put the terminals back on and you snap in your um, other terminals here. Pretty straightforward. So getting back to the other company, um, they... Um, made some, the mistakes that they made were first, you don't put a one-third horsepower compressor, uh, starter, hard starter on a one-eighth 
or a one-tenth horsepower compressor. It's just, you could cause a fire. So that was um, the, one of the mistakes they made. The second mistake was quoting a customer $2,000 to $2,500 to change the computer. I would think that probably the person that was here was probably young and didn't know this machine and thinking that, okay, I'll just overquote the customer so they can just say, okay, I'll buy a new one. Unfortunately, that doesn't work with sub-zeros. Um, so here I'm putting the ribbon cable back on and it is marked. It's got a little white dot on it, which is where the first pin is. So you can't mix that up. Now I'm reconnecting the power and then I'm turning on the unit. There's a little bit of a delay on the compressor, but it kicks in. And then you, the fan, which is also wired into that gray wire, you can see the fans on. So the compressor's on and everything is looking good. So reinstall the cover. Be careful of that ribbon cable. And it's pretty, um, pretty straightforward. The, hard, the hardest thing to do is to diagnose it to make sure you got the right thing. But this is the way I do it. And um, I've been doing it like this for many, many, many years. When you're finished, you can put the light diffuser back on and you're done. And that's it. All right. So um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope it was uh, informative for you. If you're not a tech, you can see how easy this is if you want to try it for yourself.